Ouf <rire> C'est pas l'or. Welcome back. It's the Uganda. On today's episode, we have the Kral Arms Empire XS in 2.2 caliber. Um, it's a bullpup configuration and you can see it's super short, super lightweight. Um, ready to, to try this one really. Uh, with these, you get the Picatinny uh, weaver rail on the top that you can use as a handle that is height adjustable. You get two 12 or 14 shot magazines, depending on whether which caliber you've got. Uh, side lever action, manual safety, and this one has a Kral probe for topping up the air. You have this adjust adjustable uh, backstop, backstop, butt pad, cheek pad, that goes up and down. Um, but uh, yeah, let's have a look at some shots, take it to the range, and uh, give you a conclusion. Introducing the Kral Arms Empire XS, a compact yet powerful PCP air rifle in bullpup configuration. It features a high quality Turkish walnut stock with an adjustable cheek piece and shock absorbing buck pad for ultimate comfort. Ergonomic pistol grip ensuring a stable hold and the adjustable trigger provides precision. Equipped with a manual safety and adjustable weaver slash Picatinny rail for versatility, this rifle is a 61cm total length with a 33cm barrel and a 365 stock trigger distance. The magazine capacity is for 14 rounds in 177 and 12 rounds in 2.2. In 177 you will reach around 55 shots per fill and 48 shots per fill for the 2.2. The Kral Empire XS, compact, powerful, and precise. Okay, so again, once again, we're out here at, uh, just gonna check, 22 and a half meters, I think. I've got a range finder on this. 23 meters, to be precise today. Um, I've put the one leaf, commander on this for my scope. Uh, two reasons. I can obviously record what I'm shooting through it. Um, it's the only scope I've got with Picatinny Weaver mount. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So, my history of bowl pups. Um, what did we have on recently? We had the Benjamin Akela. Uh, I didn't really like that, uh, and I don't know why. You know, I just didn't really feel it. This one, I think I have a bit of a soft spot for Kral because they were one of my first PCPs, so uh, you can take for that what you like. I prefer the loading mechanism on this. It's a, it's a nicer feeling side lever. <laughs> But yeah, let's run some shots uh, through this. There is two targets up there. I've got the regular center. I've got a five splay and we're gonna run this 12 shot magazine through it. Five group on the left, single on the right. See how we go. Um, I've got these vintage Superdome RWS. Um, it doesn't say the grain on them, but they came with the Relum Tornado that I got see how they work. This could be a terrible group, but I, uh, I'm i doing it for a feel of the rifle and how the rifle makes me feel. So let's see what we got. I'm going to hit record on here. Boop. There we go. So as I say, we're going to run five on this left target. Let's see. How we go. The trigger's kind of nice actually. Okay. I've got to give it the five. Five. 
Okay, so we can see that, you know, my zero is slightly all right. I've not got mill dots on my crosshair today, so uh, that's not gonna help me here with this five, but let's just run this. So I wanna see, we are about there. So I'm gonna aim slightly over here. Move on to the next one. Going slightly up as well. Where's he gone? The um, loading action is super smooth, actually. And I think I've got two more to finish it off. Let's come back over to the big target. Or should we try the swinger? I can't see it. Come drop buttons. One. Cool. There we go. Run that through. And as I say, it's always about how the rifle makes me feel in these. Um, I think I said on a recent video that I'm moving more towards 177 rifles uh, just because I like the consistency that I've been getting at this distance. However, this sits in what I'd call the budget range for PCP. You have a semi-decent shot count. You have a beautiful looking Turkish walnut stock and you look cool whilst you're doing it. XS is obviously the shorter version. We've got the X as well, so I'm gonna give that one a review. Um, yeah, let's run a conclusion, see what, uh, see what I think. There we go. So yeah, sun's out, gun's out. Ooh, <laughs> you fell off. Um, Carl Arms Empire XS. So uh, let's give you a conclusion, pros and cons. Um, I like to start with the cons, the things that I'm not too keen on. Um, I think I'm always not too keen on these uh, Picatinny rails. I don't know why, personal taste. Um, you know, having said that, I fit that scope on it super quickly. So that's just me being weird. You can move this lever on either side, um, which I've only just noticed. So that's not a con, that's a pro. Um, I don't like the red thing on the safety switch. Uh, it feels a bit cheap and nasty, if I'm honest. Uh, trigger's lovely, shot count, not so lovely. Um, so yeah, let's, do, let's snip that back into a decent order. Cons. Um, I don't like the red thing on the safety. Shot count is kind of low, but I can kind of see why it's a, a stubby. Um, and that's about it for the cons. Pros, I've only just noticed that you can switch the lever on either side, so that's pretty cool uh, for a choice perspective. Um, it's a nice walnut stock. I think there's different grades of it. It's, it feels nice, it's finished well. And uh, yeah, I think, <sighs> I think for me, I'm not the biggest fan of ball pups. They look great, but when I get them in hand, I'm not so happy. So I think that's the only thing is my personal preference. So if you like uh, this, I, it's not tactical look, but it's just, a, it's not a classic look, is it? It's more modern. I, uh, if you like these, then this is a really good rifle to, to play with. I just think you may be disappointed for a smaller shot count if you're out for a range day, but it might be one of those that you, you know, if you're working a permission, you only uh, are looking for a, a number of shots and, and it's pretty accessible for you to get out with. 
So yeah, I don't think I'll be adding this to my kit. I'm just not a fan of the ball pups, but uh, if you want to go and take a look, of course, this is uh, lent to me from the surplusstore.co.uk. Uh, they're based in uh, Crawley, so you can go and get hands on with all of these uh, rifles that you see on the channel if you want to see what they feel on the shoulder. Other than that, all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. It means the world. Give us a like, comment underneath whereabouts you're from or what you're shooting at the moment. And uh, don't forget to check out the merchandise. Cheers. Here's a new t-shirt that you can see on there. But as always, shoot safe, stay safe. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.